We love each other, so we don't need anybody. That you need counsel. It's like Arsenal and Chelsea saying, ah, we are both London clubs. Ah, we are brothers. Let's just play match with our hearts. We love... Eh, <laughs> we don't need referee. It's Chelsea and eh, we are London Derby now. London club. We are brothers. It's we, we. Let's play football match without referee. You can start like that at the beginning with your heart. But somewhere along the line, a ball will cross one place. So we say it didn't cross. One person will say it cross. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And blow will start. <laughs> people that started with love will end with blow. Because sometimes two people can be seeing things from two different perspectives. And you need a neutral party that is objective, that loves both of you, that is in the capacity, experienced enough to speak into your life. Many marriages would have been saved if there was a neutral. Many times what I do as counselor is to interpret what the, the woman is, what the woman is saying is right. What the man is saying is right. I just help them interpret. And they both get it. They are fighting for the same thing. No same person is planning to marry to, for, to the take of divorcing. Nobody is doing that. Everybody that divorces somewhere along the line, he met things they didn't plan. And sometimes they didn't cushion them. Nobody was there to, to help them understand that this thing is normal. Why are white people coming to Nigeria and black people are trying to run away from Nigeria? The white people come here, somebody has prepared their mind. You will settle at the airport. Oh. There will be no light to oh. bring generator. So the things we are complaining here that it makes it unbearable, these people are prepared emotionally, psychologically to face it. So that's why they, they are not shouting, they are not running. They know what they were coming. They are the one surprised that there is no light. They are aware. Are you getting what I'm saying? They prepare themselves. <laughs> so if you are properly prepared, there's no news you can't handle. If you are properly prepared. If somebody educates you, there's nothing you can't face. They tell you that, ah, it's normal, it'll happen. Don't worry yourself. It's just a phase to pass. You find that you can bear it. But if you're alone, ha, I can never take it. There are many things you can't take, you will take. If you understand, I've shared the story here, how I went to Dubai. I'm a football person, so... I went to one Champions League. Dubai is three hours ahead of Nigeria. So I was watching Champions I left my hotel to go and view center to watch match. The match ended like 10 p.m. Nigerian time, which is like 1 a.m. Dubai time. So I entered the taxi back to my hotel. The guy that was driving me was chewing chewing gum. The driver. Loud. Very irritating, very annoying. I thought he would soon stop. He would soon stop. He got to say, I couldn't take it. I said, what's wrong with you? The motivation speaker I made came out. This is not ethical. In front of your customer is bad customer service. I began to preach. After my long sermon, the guy said, um, he's normally on night shift, which starts around 12 midnight every day. This means he normally sleeps during the day. But on this particular day, he could not sleep. That's his driving me nice. He's very sleepy. That's why he's chewing gum. I said, be chewing the gum now. <laughs> Chew louder. Louder. I want to be hearing you. <laughs> if you even have give me, I will chew along with you. <laughs> Perspective changes everything. Many things you still can't cope with. The moment you understand better, you will cope with it. Gladly. Many people have left their... <laughs> Hallelujah. Many people have left their marriage because of chewing chewing gum like that. That they could have stayed. 